Welcome to Iris ID Systems. This video shows how to enable the iCam TD100 face image capture for the UIDAA client. The duration of this video and all screenshots were done using Windows 7 and therefore some of the screens may look different if using a previous version of Windows. The iCam TD100 allows for both iris and face capture with the same device. Using the ADAR enrollment application, it automatically enables your computer's web camera for face capture and must first be stopped prior to enabling the iCam TD100 for face image capture. For those that would like to enable this feature, which only needs to be done once, be sure that you have already done the following. Be sure that you have downloaded and installed the UID client version 1.2.0.18 or above and installed the Iris ID TD100 VDM version 2.05 or above. To check the current UID software version that you are running, open the ADAR application and look in the bottom right hand corner. You will notice that we currently are running version 1.2.0.18 which is the latest version. If you have a version older than this, you can find out how to get the latest version by watching the video on how to download and install the ADAR client application. Next. Check to see which Iris ID VDM version is installed. To check, open the control panel from the start menu and select programs and features. Scroll down to the Iris ID iCam TD100 VDM. The number shown is the current VDM version that is installed on the computer. If it is any version lower than 2.05, you will need to install the latest UIDAI certified VDM that comes along with the UIDAI client. You will notice here that we have already installed the latest UIDAI certified VDM, which is why it's displaying version 2.05. After confirming that we have at least UID client version 1.2.0.18 and iCam TD100 VDM version 2.05, we can use the iCam TD100 for face image capture by first stopping the default at our camera VDM and then enabling the iCam TD100 VDM for face image capture. To begin, first open the control panel from the start menu and open administrative tools. Next, select component services. Under the console root folder, open the services tab. It will then display all services running on your PC. We want to find the at our camera VDM service and stop it from running. The reason for this is because this service must first be stopped before we can enable the iCam TD100 for face image capture. Right click on the ADAR camera VDM service and select stop to stop this service from running. After this service has been stopped, you will notice there is a blank field under the status next to the ADAR camera vendor device manager. Next, since the startup type of the ADAR camera VDM service is automatic, we need to change it from automatic to manual so as to avoid the service from starting automatically upon system restart. To do so, right click on the ADAR camera VDM service again and select properties. You will notice that the startup type is set to automatic. From the drop down menu, you will see an option for manual startup. Select this option and click apply. Click OK to confirm this change. This will stop the ADAR camera VDM service from starting automatically when you restart the computer. You can now exit out of these screens. Next, open the Iris ID VDM UI application from the shortcut that should have been placed on your desktop during the ADAR software installation. You can see that the face VDM is not enabled. This is because the ADAR enrollment application automatically enables the computer's embedded web camera for face capture. To enable this feature, check the box next to the face VDM. The warning screen asks you to turn off the ADAR camera VDM, which you have already done in the previous step. Click OK. To enable the iCam TD100 VDM for face capture, select Save Settings. When prompted, click Yes to restart the Iris ID VDM service. After the Iris ID VDM service restarts, you can close the program and open the ADAR application and begin capturing face and iris images 
with Iris ID iCAM TD100. We now have the ability to use the iCAM TD100 for face capture and iris capture with the same device. If after watching this video, you are still unable to use the iCAM TD100 for face image capture, please email us at uidai underscore support at irisid.com. Thank you for watching this video on how to enable the iCAM TD100 face camera for the UIDAI client.